Everyone, I am with Jacob Stitch Duran's son, Daniel. And cameras shouldn't surprise you because I was talking to your dad and he was telling me, he's like, no, nah, he showed up on the Rocky set, people were asking about him. How does that feel just to have your dad doing this and then have people take interest in you on a whole nother level of something different? It's absolutely surreal, but it's really, it's just a blessing. You know, I'm, I'm really proud of my dad for all of his, compliment, his accomplishments and uh, just the hard work he's put in. But, um, you know, I, I don't really come, you know, for me by any means. I don't think of it like that. I'm just, I'm always here for him and to support him and, you know, just give him support. Now, being his son, yeah. that's like being a, the son of a traveling salesman, a guy who travels a lot. Yeah. What's that like? Did you just get used to, like, All right, I'll see you Tuesday? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly what it was. Um, a lot of people ask me the same question, you know, how is it? Or, oh, your dad's always gone, but, you know, I'm just, I'm used to it now, you know, so... Uh, it's, it's kind of all I've known, but uh, we get used to it, and, and there's times where he'll be home for a long time, and it's always good having him home. So, Is there any fights you can look back at that you've seen him work, and you thought, ugh, like, I don't know what he's going to do, but ugh. <laughs> um, one that I can really think about is Stefan Bonner and Forrest Griffin. That was, a, that was actually, I think it might have been my first fight that I went to, and uh, that one was a bloodbath, and that one was crazy, but... Uh, at that time, yeah, I definitely, I was wondering, I was like, how's my dad going to work on this one? <laughs> but, yeah. And now, I, know, I don't know if you want to mention it, a lot of people, how do you feel about the sudden attention he really got because he stood up for himself? Did that freak you out? Did people stop you and say anything about that, or do you just stay out of it? No, and I had, I had a lot of people, actually, a lot of people hit me up on Facebook um, and just text messages, hearing what happened, people at work even, um, just talking about it and, and bringing it up and, but they had their support. I had their support from them um, for my dad, which was definitely much appreciated. But um, yeah, a, a lot of people talked to me and mentioned to, uh, about it with me. But uh, I, I, I respect my dad a lot for you know what he did because somebody had to do it, and uh, and yeah, it was something you know somebody it, it couldn't go by for too much longer, you know. And how many of the fights have you actually got to be a part of and go backstage or do anything with? since his career is so large? Quite frankly, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Uh, it's been a handful, though. Um, it's been a long time as well, though, so uh, we haven't had tickets in a while. But, but it's, been, uh, it's been a fun adventure. Uh, it, primarily when I was younger, we would go a lot and you know, meet fighters and, and whatnot. So. But the experience is always great, um, whether it's you know, at the fights or at the MMA awards or anything like that, just the different venues. It's just a great experience. And you mentioned hey, the Stephen Bonner and Forrest Griffin. Which fights stand out to you that maybe you got to see? Uh, the ones that should be coming up? In the past, the ones that you, those are the ones that instantly stay on your head. When it comes to cuts and stuff, I would have to say Robbie Lawler and, um, and uh, what's the Rory? Yes, thank you, Rory. Rory, the, the whole nose and the lip and everything was, it, it was a great fight. But there's too many, man. I, I've seen a lot of fights, so there, there's too many to, to really, there's too many to list. <laughs> Does it ever, my girlfriend will always ask me, why don't you go to the bar and watch a fight? And I tell her, like, this is part of my industry. Mm -hmm. Have you ever really took a step back and thought, I've seen, like, at least 105 grown-ups get completely knocked out. That's weird. That's not normal. Do you ever take a step back and think of that? I honestly don't. Uh, it it might have just been, it just might have just been embodied in part of my lifestyle now, you know, just since it's my dad and that's his career. Uh, but I love it, so I don't think I really took a step back to, to really analyze it. But um, sometimes it hits me, you know, what my dad does, but not so much as uh, enjoying the fights. That's just something I always loved, so. Now, outside of the, a lot of people know him just as Stitch, uh -huh. but he's also a boxing trainer. He's also a kickboxer. He's a coach. Did you follow in any of that? Are you training? Are you staying out of the mixed martial arts, cut man game? What's your path right now for you? Uh, for, for a career path right now, um, I'm, I'm currently not doing, you know, the cut man thing. My dad and I definitely do the train, though. Uh, you know, he trained in uh, Thailand for several years while he was in the Air Force. So, you know, he, he, shows, me, uh, he shows me the ropes with uh, Muay Thai. So I definitely love training with him. Um, as a career, though, you know, I, I've been I've been telling my parents, you know, I'm getting into an acting career. So I've been focusing on that right now. Um, Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. No